And today, South Lake Union and the Regrade are one of the most dynamic and thriving areas in Seattle. This neighborhood has become an economic engine for the city. start out by first of all thanking Amazon. You know, I represent over 20,000 workers here in King County, 19 affiliates, and we, we're, we as a union look forward to having partnerships with end users. Without any supply and demand, there's no workforce. And Amazon, at every stage of building and construction, has been a partner. They believe in apprenticeship, they believe in pensions, the long term, so the men and women that work here can stay in their communities and retire with dignity. Uh, they also believe in apprenticeship. There's hundreds of thousands of apprenticeship hours being performed on these projects. These young men and women are gonna start their careers here and move on to project and project to project. And that all starts because of Amazon and their belief in apprenticeship and pension and good union wages. So I can't thank them enough for being a good partner. Also like to thank obviously the mayor. Uh, without her leadership and apprenticeship and worker development, uh, we wouldn't be here in a lot of projects. It all comes from the top down and her dedication to apprenticeship and using her hand to help people get a pathway out of poverty is, is unmeasured in any city in the United States and I want to thank her for that. This is everybody's clap and I'm not going to do much better than that. I'll just introduce the mayor. I know that can Jenny Durkin is always fighting for good jobs and livable wages here in Seattle. So I was a little worried there when Monty said there was good news, bad news. I thought I was the bad news. Monty, thanks for that. And John, thanks for that. The city played a small part in today. We arranged the weather. Um, I want to thank all the workers. Thank yeah. you, guys. Thank you, women. The ones that are back there, too. This city has to have more jobs just like this. And we've got to have companies and organizations that realize to be great and to grow great, You've got to provide those great family wage jobs across the spectrum. You've got to partner with people. John, thank you for making sure that happened at every step. I want to thank Monty for his leadership on, you know, there is a person who every day wakes up thinking, how can he get more jobs for the men and women in construction trades? And thank you for that. I see Dale Bright trying to hide there in the corner. Can't do it, Dale. Thank you for all you've done, too. Um, we are a changing city. I mean, Seattle literally has been under construction, and I'm standing with the folks who made that possible. Um, with this change, we know has come enormous growth, but also enormous opportunity and enormous challenges. And what we have today is a way to celebrate the workers who made this possible, to have a good old-fashioned barbecue in July, and to realize that we've got to be committed to those family wage jobs. And Monty mentioned apprenticeships. They are so important. They are lifting so many people up and making sure that they can learn how to do a working trade. And I've been to some of the apprenticeship programs and every time I walk away, I feel better about the city and about this region. Because we're seeing people brought into the building trades and given that opportunity who never would. The reentry programs that they have, for example, are unrivaled. The apprenticeship programs for women, do we need more women? Yeah. We need more women. And it's happening. 